Welcome, this is Joshua Benoist in Autodesk Product Support. We're on video 7 of our device block creation case. Uh, let's look at the customer's issue real quick. So pause the video if you want to read that, and we're going to move on. So in here, um, we've given ourselves some reference geometry, whether it's text or a square. Let's now you can either just start creating your block symbol, and you know, whether it's a block or a device, yeah, start creating your geometry. Create it in 3D. If, uh, so let me rephrase that. A device has a 3D model and a 2D symbol, like a recept receptacle hosted to a wall. Um, you know, you've got your 3D body. That should be drawn to true scale. Don't confuse our annotative symbol, our 2D annotative symbol, with the 3D body. So those are two separate blocks. And ultimately, our device will be composed of both blocks. Um, but for now, look, we're just working on the annotative symbol. So you can manually draw it. Start with the circle. Find the midpoints. Um, let's turn on midpoint, and I'll use O tracking. It's not giving me the O snap. I guess we're gonna have to draw a line to find the mid midpoint of this. There we go. So that's all I was looking for right there. So we might want to back our device circle off a little bit and make our lines something like that. there and then mirror that ah i hit the cancel button repeat mirror erase source objects no okay so there is our device symbol um might want to make it bigger so that it's goes from here to there i don't know that's kind of a you know, company standard or something, whatever you want. Um, I'm going to undo my deletion there, so we get this back. Another way, so you, know, you might want to take that and convert it into a block. Type in B-L-O-C-K. Uh, let's just do that. I'll just call that one base point. Pick point. Stop it. There we go. Objects, we got our three already. We want this to be annotative. Say OK. So now we've got our block there. We can right click and say convert to device. And, you know, do your settings, set it to whatever you want it to be. Usually just click the center point and it'll put it at the center. Most of our devices you want that way and there it is. Now you can take this, drag it, so you in order to put this on the tool palette you gotta select it once, select again but hold down on it and drag it over to your tool palette and stick it up there. Okay, oh, we have not saved it yet so that's true. Our next step is really to to hit save on the drawing and then drag it up there.